Hi guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, I will be unboxing and reviewing the Creatista Plus Nespresso coffee machine by Sage. So I bought this machine because my old Nespresso machine was crap and I wanted something that looks nice in the kitchen. So there are three types of Nespresso Creatista machines that are available. The entry level is the Uno, which allows you to have three different texture and three milk temperature settings. The Plus, which is the one that I have, allows you to choose different types of coffees with eight texture settings and up to 11 milk temperature settings. And the Pro allows you more coffee volume levels, more milk frothing levels, and allows you to make the coffee and froth the milk at the same time. So I went with the Plus model just because it's a mid-range. The recommended retail price for this is just under £450, although you really should not have to pay this much for it. I managed to get it for £280. So just have a shop around, look on Hot UK Deals and just wait for it to drop to around about the £300 mark. Another reason why I went for the Plus model is because you can choose from four different colours. Yes, colour is important. If I am going to spend this kind of money on a coffee machine, why would I not want it to match the rest of my kitchen? So let's get on with the most satisfying part then, which is the unboxing. The first thing you notice is that the box looks and feels expensive. I really like the way it all opens up like this as well. As you can see inside, the machine is nice and secure in between all the polished styrene and it's nicely wrapped up. So do take care when you remove this machine from the box. It does weigh just over five kg, so it's not the lightest of machines. Last thing you want to do is drop it. Once you've taken everything out, there are three main bits that are separated. You get the machine, which has the water tank attached. You get the milk tray, and you also have a separate white box, which contains the milk jug. Once you've finished painstakingly removing all of the wrapping, it's time to remove this tape that's attaching the water tank and the pod tray. And this in and out poppy box tray thing is where your used coffee pods will go after you've made a coffee. Next thing is to remove this sticker from the milk and water tray. And you can see it attaches nice and easily to the bottom like so. The next exciting bit is removing the beautiful looking milk jug from the box and you're ready to go. I must say it is a beautiful looking machine, especially if you get it in this brushed stainless steel color. So let's begin with the first time use then. First thing to do is to give the water tank and the milk jug a good rinse before you start using it. And then once you've reattached the water tank and filled it up with water, plug the machine in, press any button to start it. And the first thing you'll be asked to do is a water hardness test. To test the hardness of your water, you will need to use this strip, which is found on the inside of your instruction manual. And figuring out the location of this strip took me about an hour. So hopefully watching this video will save you guys that time or you're just a lot smarter than I am. Once you've got the strip, simply dip it into water and after a few minutes, it will indicate how hard your water is. Red being the hardest and green being the softest. Once your result has come back from the strip, simply go to your machine and select the indication that matches your result the closest. You will then be led onto the first use function. For this, simply make sure that you've got water in the water tank Make sure you've got a cup or a mug underneath the water spout. Press the start button and it will just run water through the machine for the first time. Exciting. And now you're ready for the fun part. So if you just rotate the select knob around, you can choose the type of coffee that you want. You can choose between the simpler ones like ristrettos or the more special ones like the lattes and cappuccinos. If you push the select knob down on any one of these special coffees, you can see that you can select the coffee volume, the milk temperature, and the froth level, which is pretty amazing. You can also froth up a jug of milk on its own. The steam purge function just throws some more steam through the steam wand, which it does after every coffee anyway. And in the maintenance menu, you can either give the steam wand a deep clean or you can descale the machine. The machine will actually tell you when to do both of these. And you can also perform an empty cycle, which is what you would need to do before transporting or putting the machine into long-term storage. They've also very generously included 10 classic Nespresso flavours, although if you are a coffee addict like me, these will last you about two days, so probably best to order some more flavours alongside your machine. So without further delay then, let's make our first coffee. Firstly, if we look at the milk jug, you can see that there are a couple of levels on the inside of it. Fill it to at least the first level if you're making a coffee for yourself, or the second level if you're making more than one coffee, or if you just like a lot of milk. Next, place your mug under the spout, open the lid and put your pod into the hole. You can then choose the type of coffee that you want. 
and simply press the start button and the machine heats up in only three seconds. If it's one of these special coffees like a cappuccino or a latte, it will start by running the coffee first as you can see here. Once the coffee's done, simply put the filled milk jug under the steam wand like so and then press the start button again and you will see that as if by magic, the machine will start to froth your milk. Amazing. And the whole process should take around about a minute. Once the frothing is complete, simply lift the milk jug away like so and make sure you give the steam wand a good wipe with a damp cloth as I am demonstrating. Once you drop the steam wand, it should do something called a steam purge, which is where it blasts some hot water out of the steam wand to clear out any residual milk. And there you have it, a tasty cup of cappuccino. I have to say that the quality of the coffee that does come out of this machine is very good. There are a few things that might annoy you about the machine though. First thing is the noise. Yeah, so you get the picture. So if you do wake up at very unusual times and you've got babies in the house, then this might be something that you need to consider. Another thing to consider is that if this is your first time into the world of Nespresso, it can get quite pricey, especially if you go for the limited edition flavors, which they do bring out quite often. So if you are ordering online, you need to order at least 100 pods in order to qualify for the free delivery. And that can come up to about 37 to 40 pounds, depending on the flavors you choose. The biggest problem with this machine though, is its reliability. This is actually my second machine, which was fortunately replaced as it was still under warranty. If you look at the reviews, the majority of them are very positive, and I agree, it is overall a very good machine. However, the majority of the negative reviews does seem to focus around the steam wand. Some people even complain of it breaking after a few weeks. And this was the same problem I had with my first machine after about a year and a half. The problem that my first machine had was that the steam wand required more frequent cleaning to the point where it just got annoying and it was no longer able to froth any milk. Fortunately with these machines you do get a two year warranty as standard. All the technical assistance is provided by Nespresso to a very high standard. If they can't resolve your issue over the phone they'll send someone out to collect your machine within the next couple of days and they'll even supply you a spare machine just so you can continue having coffee whilst your machine is being repaired. And if you order enough coffees from Nespresso, like me, you become an ambassador member, which means that you will have a three year warranty on their machines. So what's the verdict then? Personally, I think this is one of the best purchases that I've ever made. Not just because the machine looks fantastic in any kitchen, it's because the coffees taste incredible and it's so easy to use. Just choose the flavor you want, choose the type of coffee that you want, put the pod in, press a button and you have amazing Costa and Starbucks style coffees without needing to pay three or four pounds every time. If you're used to filter coffees or you just hate Nespresso, then this machine probably won't change your mind. And at 450 pounds, it is a little bit pricey. But if you do love Nespresso and if you can get it for the 300 pound mark, then I think this machine is worth every penny and you will not be disappointed. Hope you liked this review. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos in the future.